Well, to begin with, when, you, uh, when I was talking to the bot in uh, the breaking into startups, I didn't realize it was a bot to begin with. Okay. It, it was so well tailored. I, it took me a while. I couldn't tell when it was you talking to me or when it was the bot. And the first thing I got to do is I got to thank you for getting me on board with this. It's like, it's just mind blowing. Honestly, I, I had no idea that it was possible to learn so much in such a short amount of time. Yeah. The exercises are incredibly well laid out. It's a, it's a heavy workload. It's not, you know, it's not a walk in the park. Um, and I think for what it is, I would never dream that just with a deposit of what, 250 bucks to get this quality of, of teaching and to have like, um, I've done other, other like courses from Udemy and stuff, just looking at videos, uh, like eight hours of intensive of C sharp or something, but you end up just staring at it and there's not enough exercises. There's not mm -hmm. enough practice. Mm -hmm. And here with Hack Reactor is mostly the practice. The, of course, you have the study material that we got to do, which is an amazing library. They really filter out what's the best stuff to learn from. Yeah. But then we got to walk those steps ourselves. There's very little room for getting stuck. And even if you get stuck, there's help desk. Yep. And the help desk is like, and it's, I don't know, man. I, it's, it's like a miracle. Crazy. <laughs> you know, you say what's wrong. You show the exercise. Oh, this is where I'm stuck. You send them a snippet. And they look at it and they know, like, they know what's missing. You know, these people know what they're doing. So there's actually and a, a person on the other end, right? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. There's a person on their another end. They're, are they on Slack or are they at Google Hangouts? How do you communicate with them? So basically, we have this thing called uh, the help desk tickets. Mm -hmm. So we submit a ticket and uh, we say, what's the, uh, what are we struggling with? What's the yep. exercise or the topic? And then we tag one of the staff members, which is our huddle leader which is kind of decide by which cohort we're going to take, if it's San Francisco or whatever it is. Uh, the one I'm aiming for is San Francisco. So um, when there's like a little queue that tells us how far we are in line, and then our time comes, we get a message on Slack mm -hmm. by one of the members of staff, and then they contact us, give us a Zoom link, and then we're on Zoom, we share our screen, yeah. and they're literally reading our code with us. And, and they don't even say, do this. No, they go like, okay. So why did you do this? They make you think logically mm -hmm. of what you're doing. And basically they solve it by asking you questions, you know? So for example, I, I worked a lot with Peter, uh, Peter Mueller. Mm -hmm. And he, he always gives me like some kind of insight and on like how to restructure the way I tackle my problems, uh, what can be improved. Um, and that's, that's something that I would never get like just mm -hmm. following some like internet, uh, you know, some video based uh, tutorial. Yeah. That's what I always felt was the miss. And in, in the SSP, it's like, it's yeah, amazing. it's kind of like going to the gym with a personal trainer, right? It's, you can go to the yeah. gym and you can find exercises online, but unless you have there, someone there to look at what you're doing and provide immediate feedback and close that feedback loop, um, then it's hard for you to like move fast through these complicated topics. Um, if there's things that you might misinterpret. So I've, I've spoken to a few folks who are taking SSP and it sounds like a lot of them have daytime jobs and then they attend SSP on weeknights and then um, on weekends as well. So in your case, uh, how are you fitting in SSP into your like day-to-day -day schedule? Well, first of all, I am running eight hours ahead. Mm -hmm. So when and the class starts at I'm in Portugal, like okay. random countryside, like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's yeah. great for focusing. But yeah, I got eight hours difference. So for me, classes begin at 2 a.m. in the morning and they end around 5, 6. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you know, that's the day, like the weekly, because on, on Sundays and, and Saturdays, it's, uh, it's a much longer schedule. It usually goes from 6 my time, 6 in the afternoon until like 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's a lot of ground to cover. We do a lot of work, but, uh, man, you know, when it comes to these things for me personally, of course, it's a sacrifice to change the, the, my schedule like this to start mm -hmm. sleeping during the daytime, but it's a short, you know, it's, it's a short term. It's five weeks and it goes so fast. Yeah. You know, there's no time to like, there's no time to complain. There's no time to be like, to be tired. It's just, it keeps going. You keep the ball rolling. And before you notice, you've learned the whole basics of JavaScript. Yeah. And now we're learning Git. Now we're learning Git already. We're learning how to start, you know, managing uh, work as a group, prepare for mm -hmm. the for the actual bootcamp. And That's awesome. man, it's 
things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when I signed up, and when I signed up for your page, I got into the bot and the bot just kind of walked me through it. Nice. And, and also thank you for like every, every once in a while checking, Nuno, uh, have you, have you like, have you done your, uh, your, you know, have you subscribed to everything? Are you on top of your game? Are you ready for this? Are your preparations? Yeah. And that's absolutely. That's awesome, man. And do, are you originally from Portugal or you're just living there uh, while you're uh, like working on your side projects? Yeah, I'm actually, I am from Portugal, but I live very little in Portugal. I'm always like traveling your around really good. and doing my work. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I studied in London first. I studied nice. animation in Kingston for three years. Uh, and then I stayed there for another six, working as a designer and art director. And wow. so I guess that's it. Yeah. Thanks a lot for it. That's awesome, man. Thanks a lot for taking the time to chat with me. Um, we definitely want to follow up with you once you get into Hack Reactor and then once you become an engineer. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Look forward yeah. to it. All right, man. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Bro. Yeah. Thank you a lot. Amazing.